people back home. Liberation movement continue. Oh, I'm just a I'm back on the stage. I ain't even know I was on the front page. Could've never dreamed I would be this paid when I stuck on the board and left IET. City like sky rise looks so big. Sleeping on the street ain't got no crib. Got this music, but I'm just a kid. So shout out to the street kids where I live. I don't want a car, I need an orphanage. Guess I'm just different, it's no bullshit. Never leave my hood till I'm in a casket. Formulate a message, trying to make it classic. Trying to use my spirit up to make the magic. Got to make platinum out of plastic. Wings out of tin cans, understand this. And watch me rise up till I cease to exist. And not Natalia and Susanna Baker in the house. Good morning. Good morning, JP and Natalia. It's time for Art Talk, baby. We got a special guest in the studio this morning. Yes, we do. We have straight from London, the international star, Chris Riggs. Good Welcome, morning. Welcome, Chris. Hey, how you doing? So happy to be here. From across the pond, as they say, right? I'm, I'm from New York City, but I've been traveling a lot. I've been doing oh, a lot of work okay, in London okay. lately. Nice. Yeah, Chris Riggs is... A, I go it, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. He's at the place as a visual artist where you want to be, where you're commissioned and you're collected and they fly you to different parts of the country. Uh, Chris Riggs is an amazing artist. He was born in Manhattan. And one of the great things about Chris, uh, you'll know a Riggs mural because he does... One of his iconic murals is the word love and peace mm -hmm. and the layering of love and peace over and over multi-layer multi-layer he uses the iconic palette of bright beautiful colors of pinks and violets and yellows and aquas and it's just gorgeous work and do you can you do you remember your first piece that you sold um my first painting that i sold um yeah it was actually it was a black and white abstract painting Nice. But um, but when people ask me where I'm from, I like to tell them I'm from planet Earth. Because if people are like, you know, especially in the street, like yeah. when you're painting in the hood somewhere, people like, they're like, yo, yo, where are you from? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I'm from planet Earth. Where from are you Earth. from? <laughs> and then they don't know what to say. They're like, oh, I'm from. I like that. I'm going to use that. I'm gonna use Because I was doing a mural in Russia, and this little kid comes up to me about six, seven years old, and he's like, there was a translator. He's like, oh, where are you from? And I was like, tell him I'm from planet Earth. And then ask him where he's from. And he's like, he's like, oh, I'm from planet Earth, too. And then I was like, oh, all right, so we could be friends then, right? We're from the same place. And that's a great philosophy, actually. That's a philosophy we need to carry every single day. Absolutely. What's going yeah, they on. want to keep everybody divided, yeah. but we're all human yeah. from the same planet. Absolutely, you know I mean? like, absolutely. I got to tell you. They're making so you, money off these wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, your murals, now, you started at 14 years old. I mean, you started at three years painting. I know your grandfather, you come from an Italian family. Actually, uh, yeah, my there's a lot of Italian. Italian, so he was like, you know, he was in his basement making wine, crushing grapes, doing paintings. Like, he's like an old Italian guy. Nice. And my dad's family is from Europe, uh, other parts of Europe. But and he, he, he was a businessman, but he loved to make art. He was really good at making art, but, you know, so he now, wanted to make money, you know, he yeah, didn't take the leap into so art. So I'm 14, when you were 14, though, that's when you started to pick up aerosol cans, spray paint cans? Yeah, when I was a little kid, I just used to watch my grandfather doing, like, you know, Italian paintings of, like, boats and scenes in Italy. And then, you know, it was like the... It was like the late 70s, you know, so spray paint was big. So my dad was like doing some spray paint art. So even like four, so five, six year olds that had, that had yeah. access to spray paint. My dad used to open up stores in Manhattan because back then there was no internet. So everything was retail. So he used to open stores and then he would like sometimes bring his art into the stores. That's like awesome. sell his art while he was like selling now, other stuff. Some of the great things that you've been doing lately, like the colorful murals, you see them in Wynwood. Uh, are they, I know that the walls in Wynwood change a lot. Are there any murals still left of Chris Riggs um, in Wynwood? Otherwise, I, haven't gotta... been, I haven't been painting on Wynwood for about maybe lot, five or six years. A lot of the old I've just been traveling. I know. Well, you got to get a wall you know in here. I, I miss was, it. I was here. I, I, did a sh I did a show for three years straight right around the corner. Yeah. The building across the street, I was in there for 12,000 square foot studio. Yeah, Michael uh, yeah, so I was there for Yeah, I was there for three years. Gallery 212. 
No, no, I wasn't in Gower until no. I was here by myself in that. Oh, in this I, building? No, across the street. Uh, oh, I had awesome. a 12,000 square foot gallery for three years. Wow. And I had it for free. The guy was just like paying a mural for me. So then, but now, if I was going to go rent that, they would want like a quarter million oh, yeah. dollars a yeah. month. Everything's so I'm like, changed. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, I had that for, and then people around the world, they'll be like, oh, we're doing a warehouse thing here. So it's like, so I just always get space for free so that's I'm not what i was going to ask you so like when you say you travel the world you get people that just commission you like hey come come do a piece and then they they fly you out they pay you yes yeah, sometimes people people don't like let's say if they fly me to london then i'll be in then i'll be in london so i'll be over so i'll be in europe so then i'll say why don't you extend just ex i'll extend it two three weeks and then I'll like go meet my friends in Germany, you know what I mean? And then I'll fly back to London. Cause once you get to Europe, yeah, you're just jumping on yeah, different yeah. planes. It's like, so, yeah, so you're it's coming... like cheaper than a taxi cab. Yeah. Now. <laughs> like you put, like in, I was in London, I paid $200 for the cab to get to the airport. Cause I was late. Wow. So I had to call like Uber XL Express, <laughs> you know, like, and it was like $200 to get to the airport and then to fly to like Spain or something, it was like $50. I know, you know it's so crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. So now when you did the murals out, Saks Fifth Avenue, you did that fabulous shoe for Saks. Oh, that's for that, Bloomingdale. That was Bloomingdale. Oh, but sorry I, but about I, that. I've done, I've done stuff for both of them, but mostly but mostly for Bloomingdale. And now you did some really expensive handbags. Uh, the handbags, they're just, they're not, uh, we're coming out with expensive ones, but the ones we have now, they're they are not that expensive. They're, um, they're not because, I try not to use like well, it's animal not expensive material. To you. So, oh, it's not expensive to you. You don't use anything with yeah, animals. Yeah, so the bags are only $50. Oh, that's nothing. But I did um, some I thought they were like 3000 or something. Some, uh, I did some Louis Vuitton bags. Those are 5000 That's the ones. Now. Yeah, those are the ones that I was seeing in your... I got to tell you... People support. love those bags. That's why I was like... Bags are like crack for women. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they can have 200 bags and they're like... They'll always buy another bag, like paintings, like people will buy like maybe 10 paintings and they have no more wool. Yeah. But bags, there's always another, there's always enough room for another bags bag. Bags and shoes, always, for sure. Bags yeah. and shoes. Yeah, bags and shoes, there's always so more room. So what's your for. next exciting project? You're leaving to New York tomorrow. We had Diana Contreras, who's going to be here next Thursday, a wonderful artist. Right? I know her, I'm friends with her. We've done paintings together. She's amazing. Yeah, we, She's in amazing. In 2011, we've done... She was one of my first friends in New York because I know Nina Sky, uh -huh. and Nina Sky knew her, and they were, they knew I was moving to Miami, so they were like, they hooked me up with Diana Contreras, and then we became friends. She's coming in 2011. on next Thursday. We put, got you in, which we're honored because uh, uh, I know you're flying to New York. You just come back from London, and that love peace mural. God, I'm going to see if I find a wall for you because oh, that wall. Me and Diana used to share a studio together. Yeah, no, but you also had a wall day. back in the days here in Wynwood. I remember with the love, love, yeah, that love. Yeah, building, that building right across the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. It used to be just one. It used to be open. It wasn't six different businesses. So right. I had the whole thing twelve thousand. Talk to that mic for me, there, Chris. I don't want to miss a word. It was, it was, it was giant. Like right across the street. It was like because they were developing it. So the yeah. owner was like, "Look, just it's paint changed some a lot. Wynwood, Wynwood's really changed tremendously. Oh yeah, from our days. But this model, they're using it all around the world now. Where you know, developers go in and they buy warehouses and they bring the artists in and then they um. Have the artist paint murals and then get the, the buzz rent going. goes through the roof and then yeah and the then the artist story. gotta go to another neighborhood you know jp the old story is that yeah. if you want to buy real estate and get a good deal you just follow the bohemian artists oh, there you wherever go. they're at that's where you're going to eventually it's going to turn what's your next big project chris the next big project we're going to be going to the middle east and wow. we're gonna um, we're gonna sail around the Middle East and fly around the Middle East and try to make peace in the Middle East. There you go. But I like to say a joke like, "What happened to the last guy who went to the Middle East try to uh, try to make peace?" What happened? I don't know. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us your website. How can people see your work? Those that might not know the love peace. Are you on Instagram and all that stuff? Yeah, you just. At you can Chris just Riggs. search Chris Riggs, and my Instagram will come up. My uh, website will come up. A lot of information will come up. JP, I got to thank you also for the shout out for Tribute to Puerto Rico. It was awesome. Excellent. We had so many people. Very nice. And uh, for all our Puerto Rican friends out outside or anybody, we're doing a La Placita today, 6 to 8 o'clock. We're doing a conversation, a narrative about what's affecting the island with all the things that have been happening, but join us. It's not about politics. It's about solutions. I love it. 
Yeah, I love it. Thank Puerto you so Rico. much. I love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I, Puerto Rico. I, mean, I know you've been to Puerto Rico, I right? I love that. <laughs> Jump on the cruise boat. You're in Puerto Rico yeah. in two days. And then you married a beautiful Russian girl. You've been doing Russian murals in yeah. Russia. I'm trying to actually get her to move to Puerto Rico. Oh, really? Because she's like, oh, what about the hurricane? But I'm like, they just had the hurricane. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're going after the hurricane, not before the hurricane. That's, yeah. That would be a good idea. And the taxes sure. there, there's no taxes there. All yeah. those Bitcoin millionaires they're all moving to Puerto Rico I know so. well Chris Here, Riggs I that. love you oh, God thanks. bless you thanks New York and get ready for Chris Riggs New York and London I know you made a splash there I follow you all the time oh, love thanks. peace murals and that's what the world needs JP more amen. love and more peace amen Susanna Baker Chris Riggs thank you so much for thanks. coming on the JP morning show art talk with, with Susanna Baker see you next Thursday with Diana Contreras Chris thanks for coming in brother thank you peace and love on earth yeah Trying to find my way Don't you see the light shine?